good morning. Uh, a very warm welcome to all our students and parents uh, on this video. So today we would be talking about uh, why should you study engineering in Australia, right? Uh, what are the different streams you can choose and also what are the career prospects uh, post the education, post studying. So I have with me uh, Dr. Milland from uh, EIT, Engineering Institute of Technology, Perth, Australia. So uh, Dr. Milland, a very warm welcome to you as well. And uh, if you could please uh, share some more details on you. And also now I know that you're from India. We would also like to hear a bit of your backstory, if you could please. Sure, sure. Thank you so much for uh, taking me this opportunity to speak to you. Yeah. And uh, I am actually Dr. Millen. I actually came here in Australia as a student. Mm -hmm. I studied my PhD in mechanical engineering mm -hmm. uh, in Australian University and graduated after five years. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, uh, I chose to go to academic field mm -hmm. uh, in Australia. So I am right now a course coordinator and uh, on campus lecturer with EIT and uh, I'm really enjoying it and I, I'm, I'm enjoying uh, the fact that I'm actually helping our fellow students who are mostly coming from you know India and surrounding other countries Asian countries and right. uh, there are so many job prospectors in Australia first of all why to do engineering in mm -hmm. Australia yeah. uh, that's the question and to answer that uh, first of all uh, if you look at the size of India uh, Australia is almost three, more than three times bigger mm -hmm. in terms of uh, the country's land and uh, uh, total area. Mm -hmm. But uh, compared to that, the population in Australia is just very small. Mm -hmm. It could be just like a Mumbai's population spread across all over India. Absolutely. So it's very sparse population. So when the population is less, obviously it's going to go up. Mm -hmm. When it goes up, it means it needs a lot of infrastructure needs lots of people, professional people, and who build, who builds an infrastructure, an engineer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why there is a huge demand of engineering professionals here, mm -hmm. uh, civil, mechanical, electrical, automation, and, and all sort of uh, professionals are actually needed in Australia. And sometimes they have to, government have to actually uh, provide some special visas to bring in professionals from other country for a few months. All right. So in that case, if you come here and if you study in Australia, obviously uh, that is going to be a major advantage to you mm -hmm. because there are a couple of things. I am not a visa expert or anything, but students used to say that the visa conditions are more favorable here as well. We get jobs easily. Uh, obviously, you have to come to the standard uh, which is required mm -hmm. uh, after you study. Mm -hmm. And once you get your job, uh, it's, uh, people usually come here and settle down easily like me, myself, I, I did my PhD five years and then applied for PR and I became citizen now. Okay. So that's the pathway I think relatively is easier as well compared to other countries. Okay. And, and, and people are very nice. Australian people are very nice. They, are, they like to talk to people. They are very, you know, accepting all the Correct. cultures uh, around the world. That's the main thing, you know, if you, if you see that I'm blended, I'm being blended in the culture, mm -hmm. you feel belonged. To the society that's when you start to enjoy it yes yes yeah, so you start enjoying the life and i truly enjoy the life here in australia Absolutely. so that was my point on uh why do why to do engineering in australia all right the second point is why to go with eit yeah. which is engineering institute of technology where mm -hmm. i am course coordinator mm -hmm. uh which is like a head of the department uh and in mechanical and civil so uh Let's, let's say if you have uh, some disease which uh, or maybe you would like to uh, you have some problem in your eye mm -hmm. and you like to show to a doctor mm -hmm. go to a general practitioner they would say no go to an eye specialist yeah. to, to check up your eyes properly I could just give you some general advice but I can't because I am not a specialist correct. so you go to eye specialist to correct any defect in your eye right mm -hmm. Similar to that, if you come to study in Australia, mm -hmm. and if you really want to do engineering, mm -hmm. there are so many universities and institutes, uh, but they, most of them, are actually running so many courses, mm -hmm. including engineering, arts, biotechnology, and agriculture, 
So their resources and their attention is actually divided in multiple pathways. Whereas EIT focuses only on engineering. We don't do any other courses. True. And that's why we are dedicated to it and we are excellent at it. So uh, EIT is kind of, yeah, so EIT kind of specializes, uh, you know, is a niche institute for studying engineering in Australia, right? In Perth specifically. That's, yep. Yeah. It's a niche institute, definitely in yeah. Perth. And we have also a campus in Melbourne. But our headquarters is in Perth and Perth is a lovely city. Recently, it was actually declared like a couple of days ago, the friendliest city uh, awesome. on earth. Awesome. Is Perth. Just the appropriate so, time to have a Perth being declared as a friendliest city. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. If you come here, I have seen you know people, including myself, mm -hmm. uh, coming and living in Perth. They don't want to go anywhere else. Right. Even in Australia, they like Perth so much. Right. So people are friendlier. So that's the main thing, you know. Uh, in EIT, we have three years bachelor's mm -hmm. plus two years master's mm -hmm. course, and we only do engineering. Uh, we have labs and people and students studying all around the world Correct. and we source we source uh, best faculties Correct. not Dr. only Milan, in terms of yeah yeah Und uh, point taken understood Dr. Milan, i would also like to know uh, you know there's yep. another so uh, you know the place i live in chandigarh and punjab is home to yep. uh, thousands of engineering students uh, number of engineering institutes right and uh, so what I would want to understand from you is, you know, a, a first-hand perspective on which streams are in demand uh, from, from a career point of view. For example, if, uh, you know, what are the job prospects, which careers are in demand in Perth generally, and then uh, in Perth specifically, and then in Australia, uh, you know, as a whole. So if you could share as some light on uh, what, what uh, careers are in demand, actually, uh, from the engineering standpoint of view. From engineering standpoint of view, uh, I would say in Perth, first I will start with Perth. Mm -hmm. uh, Perth is basically an engineering hub mm -hmm. of Australia. Mm -hmm. So it's like we have so many mine sites here, mm -hmm. mining companies. Mm -hmm. We have so many oil and gas industries. Mm -hmm. So there are some uh, you know, jobs in mining mm -hmm. and so many jobs in oil and gas field. Mm -hmm. And there are courses which just train people to do just mining and to just you know are trained for oil and gas type of uh, jobs all right but uh, mainly the people who go into those mining or oil and gas are general streams all right so civil engineering for example they are building you know huge mine sites for oil and gas facilities they build uh, huge ports mm -hmm. uh, and and you know railway tracks and stuff mm -hmm. so mainly they need civil and structural engineer all right and, and mechanical engineers okay uh, but you know disciplines are now actually merging from mm -hmm. with each other so mm -hmm. it's not just that mechanical people are doing only mechanical jobs so right. we have some blended uh, discipline uh, introduced here as well which is called industrial automation okay which is part of mechanical and electrical combined which is like a mechatronics All which right. is also very much in demand mm -hmm. Uh, but mainly I would suggest mechanical, civil, uh, industrial automation or even electrical people are needed okay. here. So those are the main four areas. Then uh, you could, you know, find very uh, specific uh, course like, you know, mining, engineering. But then you have very limited uh, focus, uh, like limited scope in terms of getting a job. But so said, do a general... Yeah, then you said yeah. somebody who does uh, a bachelor, oh, sorry, uh, a degree in civil or mechanical, you know, general engineering could yep. also then get into, uh, you know, the mining field, oil and gas, because eventually all these yep. industries require specific civil engineers, mechanical engineers. It's, it's all a component. It's all, the, all components are there. Yes, yes. And lots of construction companies and air conditioning companies are also there because, you know, infrastructure is expanding. Correct. So they need civil, mechanical, electrical uh, fields almost everywhere. Correct. So, Dr. Milan, uh, the next important uh, point, in, next important question is rather is, uh, yep. does a bachelor's degree uh, make a student employable? You know, uh, would uh, if somebody was to study uh, a bachelor's in uh, civil or mechanical with EIT, you know, what are the career yep. prospects he could look at from the employability point of view? Uh, 
in india we have this perception that the higher your qualification mm. more chances of getting a job true it is ex- actually not true for mm. australia mm. i would say if you did a bachelor's degree which is a minimum mm. requirement to become a professional engineer or to register with engineering organization mm-hmm. so a bachelor's degree uh, is enough to uh, to to get some employment for example we have three years bachelor's degree correct uh, which is the shortest path to achieve uh, that engineering qualification okay there are some other institute or universities which are offering four years bachelors right but one extra year puts you one year back in terms of your career and it's a lot of cost as well yeah so if you really want st- an extra year means that much more investment in terms of tuition fees and living expenses as well true true so if you really want to study any further than 3 years with 3 years is the shortest time you get your bachelor's degree and get start working in the okay. field okay. but if you really want to go higher you can do then 2 years master's degree mm-hmm. uh, so within 5 years you would be a professional engineer registered okay. with engineers australia all right so all that right. is again shortest path but if you do a four, four year bachelor degree it would be 4 plus 2 then it is like one year extra one year extra uh, yeah. so i would i would suggest go for a 3 years degree Mm-hmm. and and just start working and then if needed you could do masters even in the online mode with iit that that's what what we recognize our students with you know they Correct. can pursue it while they're working in the field they Correct. could do online masters degree with us correct correct uh, dr melin yep. uh, so how in your opinion you know now that you so how long have you been with iit if i may ask i've been with iit yeah, yeah. for 3 years third year now yeah all right all right uh, i started as a lecturer and now i'm a course coordinator okay okay in your opinion uh, you know uh, how easy or how difficult would it be uh, for a student to land up a job and in how much time probably post his graduation do you think he can get a job and does eit in any way uh, assist in looking for a job or has some internship as a part of the program you know so advantage is uh, in terms it's, of uh, you know uh, from eit's uh, point uh, to to in order to make a student employable as fast as possible that's true that's true because you know at the end of, end of the day if you study something and if you can get a professional job out of it then mm-hmm. it's 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 worth doing mm-hmm. so each of our course actually has uh two internships built into the course it means students have to go uh, to an industry and mm-hmm. and acquire professional uh, internship or professional work experience so okay. that work experience we support and mm-hmm. we assist student in in seeking company our uh, student services uh, uh, persons are actually highly uh, you know involved in that and mm-hmm. they actually make contacts with the industry mm-hmm. but we highly encourage that students should also try to engage and you know contact industries and they have to build their communication skills and uh, their their professional manners in a way that they are suitable for the industry but we highly assist and we have that thing built into the course it means at the end of the 3 years course they have already acquired those internship experience and more likely most likely those industry if students show that they can work really professionally really well they are they are likely to hire them as a full time employee after the fantastic fantastic and dr milan would you have any idea would you have uh, uh, some information on uh, the starting salaries for a fresh graduate for example somebody who passes out with bachelor of civil what could he look at i mean just just some reference point uh, it could vary obviously from company to company I understand. Yeah. but i would normally but normally i would say around 50 to 65000 dollars a year correct so starting at around 50000 dollars a year that is that could be around minimum something- Correct. Uh, but it again depends if you are in a, in a multinational company then you could start with 70000 uh, dollars a year I understand. so I understand. so it depends okay yeah. okay okay uh, dr melin uh, as far as perth is concerned western australia right uh, so the uh, we have industry in perth uh, probable employers in perth who are looking for skilled engineering professionals do we have uh, these companies there Yes, we have so many companies. As I said, we have uh, mining companies like Rio Tinto, uh-huh. uh, BHP Billiton, 
-hmm. And in oil and gas, we have a couple of very big companies as well. Okay. Uh, uh, we, and then, then there are other companies which are supporting uh, mm -hmm. mining companies. It means fabrication business who actually pro produces or manufacture equipment for mm -hmm. mining companies because mining companies are big companies. They don't do anything. Mm -hmm. um, everything by themselves they actually right. subcontract and those subcontracting companies are, are huge mm -hmm. uh, and those companies are all are all over the world actually supplying fabricated uh, you know equipment parts components and and even maintenance of those mining and oil and gas equipment they need you know maintenance as well Correct. So, yep, there are companies and then there are companies like organizations like private ones like uh, doing air conditioning in the buildings mm -hmm. They are constructing building if you are in civil you have the, that scope as well. Mm -hmm. So Yep, and fabrication mining fabric and oil and gas are the major ones. So the industry is there So the industry needs a uh, skilled professionals So yeah, yes Awesome, awesome. Fantastic. Yes, they are needed because you know Perth is basically you know engineering hub. I would say, as I Correct. would say, yeah. because all other cities are more or like for IT and computer type of software type of you know uh, jobs are more there in Melbourne and Sydney. Mm -hmm. But Perth especially is an engineering hub, so awesome. uh, more likely to get a job here. Awesome, uh, technical awesome. job, I would say. Awesome, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so uh, for all the students or parents who are looking uh, you know, to study engineering and looking at Australia, Perth is definitely a, a, a good option from, not only from uh, an employability point of view, as Dr. Millen said, there are companies who are looking uh, for skilled professionals uh, you know, from in, with engineering background. And then uh, EIT itself uh, offers uh, a three-year program, uh, you know, so uh, conventional degrees could be a four year. So you, you studying with EIT, you could save another one year, which means a lesser investment in terms of uh, tuition fees and living expenses. And, uh, yes. uh, you know, pl placement services kind of uh, incorporated within the curriculum. They assist you with, you know, connecting with the industry and uh, so that you, you become employable. So thank you so much, Dr. Millen, for your time. Uh, I would I would speak to you soon on uh, some some points more so that we can share them with our students and parents. Thank you so much for your time. Once sure. Again. Sure. My pleasure and uh, all the best to all the students listening to this. And thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.